My name is Ellen Thomas. I'm a UK actress. I play Anita Mountjoy Sinclair Thimbudu um, in Hotel Cerise, currently at Theatre Royal Stratford East. I was attracted to Hotel Cerise because of Bonnie, the writer, Olua Femi, the director, and of course the script. Anita is a wonderful, wonderful character. For whoever the audience are, whatever they've come in with, leave it at the door, you can pick it up afterwards, come on this journey with this family. Don't you love this family? We haven't seen a middle class African American or British on this on the stage, on a London stage. We have we just haven't because we tried to go back and see when and it hasn't happened. So um love the fact that we're telling that story, um, which shows the all the colours that we are. We're not just Nurses and doctors, we're lucky to be doctors, honey. We're not just nurses and prostitutes and ghetto and council flats and signing on stories. And No, we're not just that. We're also this middle class family who are educated, they live well, they live in luxury and all the rest of it. There's that as well. I know some. <laughs> and we never see them on a British stage or on British television. So it's refreshing. As an artist, you have to be political. And yes, uh, my friends will tell you that I'm extremely political in the right and wrong and justice kind of way. Yes, very political. So this play is right up my street. <laughs> it's heartbreaking as well, what's going on in America. Um, 350 million people and they choose two people to run who, you know, any other time you wouldn't consider either of them because, you know, it's the devil or the deep blue sea, which is the worst of the lesser of the two evils kind of way. I find that really, really heartbreaking and sad because it will reflect not just on the USA, but the whole world. It will affect, it will affect us in the UK. It will affect Europe everywhere. So um, I'm really, it, it's, it does break my heart. I'd love to do more theater. Um, I haven't been on stage for seven years. We were working it out the other day, seven years. Um, I've just been doing television, film, television, um, film, television, television. So i um, really loving being back on stage. You can't beat that chemistry with the audience <laughs> and the other actors. <laughs> well, yes, because you get to a stage, 35 years of being in the business, you kind of want a leading role. You kind of want to see, can I carry a play? And now I've found out that, yes, I can. Can I carry a TV series? I, you know, I've yet to find that out and so on. I look at a script and I get a part that I go to casting for. And in the whole script, I'm reading some of the other parts and the other characters. And there's a doctor and there's a lawyer. There's a um, the, the MD, the CEO of the company. And I read those lines and I think, oh, to play the CEO of this pharmaceutical company in this ITV drama would be oh amazing. And yet I have the part of the receptionist and I'm being auditioned for the part of the receptionist who has four lines. So you just think, mm, it's dull and boring and lame now. There's only so much. 35 years is a long time. You know, you just think, oh, please. And America has welcomed um, UK black actors, or welcomed all actors. But um, it is very noticeable that America has welcomed UK black actors. Uh, we were doing a list the other day, Idris Elba, um, uh, Marianne Jean-Baptiste, um, David Harewood, um, Jimmy Akimbola, Fraser Ayres. Um, the list was just endless. Um, David Oyelowo, um, Gugu Mbatha Raw, um, Amar Santi, you just write a direct, just welcome them. And um, Amal Amin, they're all, and they're doing substantial parts in TV shows and um, look at the films that Amar Santi is directing, and it's just so exciting. Working with Ava DuVernay would be really wonderful. Working with Oprah Winfrey would be absolutely wonderful. Afra Woodard, Angela Bassett, all of those ladies. Oh, I'd love to give them a run for their money. Because <laughs> I know they can't do an African accent. I know they can't do a really good Caribbean accent. You know what I'm saying? get me they can't do a british accent they can't do anything london you know what i mean uh, and my brother 
they can't do an African accent though. They don't know how for do eh? Come see the play. It will give you a food for thought. Um, it will make you question a lot of things. On the way home, you'll have a whole heap to talk about. Well, when she said that, when he did that, what did you think? Well, I don't agree. There'll be all kinds of discussions like that. So come see the play.